Hi, I'm Christopher Guerrero here at Wind & Water Salon here in Castle Rock. Today we're going to be working on one of my favorite things to do, which is hot stone massage. Uh, we're going to kind of go over some concerns that some people may have about hot stone for those who've never had it before, and uh, just kind of what to expect if you decide to ever come in for one. The stones are inside. These are basalt river stones, and uh, we use them with a little bit of oil. Today I'll just be using a kabuki nut oil. Are the stones. Uh, when they're in here, they roughly sit at about 125 to 135 degrees, which is not enough to be able to burn the skin. And then once we take them out of uh, the crock and put them onto the skin, just people absolutely love it. It's a very warming, very relaxing, depending on what you're doing. Okay, here we have Tess. She's one of our stylists here at Wind & Water Salon. I ask you if you've ever had a hot stone massage before. What did you think of it? It was really, really good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out and give Tess a few moments to go ahead and get onto the table. She'll start underneath the covers face down. Uh, she's going to dress down to whatever she's comfortable wearing. Most people just get down to underwear if they want to. Uh, but uh, we'll give her a few moments, and then before we come back in, we'll just knock before we re-enter. Okay, now that we have Tess on the table, we'll undrape to about the small of the back. Sciences under massage therapy, which is where I got my certification. Going to start out kind of light and slow to begin with. That way the body gets used to me. I'm holding out of the front while sitting in the center of my wrist. That way I can know whether or not the stones are too hot or uh, not hot enough. And just using the uh, the hot stones as a as a tool to be able to relax the muscles and uh, be able to penetrate deeper into some of the troubled areas that I'm working with. Okay, now that we've moved on to the leg area, and for the sake of the video, there's a lot of conversation going on. Uh, during most massages, there's usually little to no talking. I've met some people who don't say a word the entire time, and other people who just engage in conversation. For the sake of the video, we've just kind of turned all the lights on, so it makes it a little easier to see, but yeah, generally, it's a lot more dark. This is usually everybody's favorite part of the hot stone massage. So yeah, we take advantage of our feet. We're on them all day. We uh, generally, as a whole, sometimes never wear the right type of shoe. This is probably one of my most favorite things to do when it comes to massage therapy. And hopefully this video just kind of helps you know what goes on during a hot stone massage treatment. Once again, my name is Christopher. I am accepting new clients here at Wind & Water Salon. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call anytime. I look forward to meeting you. Thank you for watching.